coroner's service continues to work on determining a cause of death. The woman's identity is being withheld at the request of her family. The Vancouver Island Health Authority is hoping to head off a spike in the number of cases of HIV this summer. VIHA wants to provide free needles and crack pipes to drug users as part of an overall harm reduction strategy. And news reporter Brent Shearer has more on the story. He joins us now in our Mid-Island Bureau. Brent. Hudson, right now the number of people in the Mid-Island with HIV is relatively low, but VIHA says that could change for the worse this summer. On the streets of Nanaimo and elsewhere around the central island, there's an unusually high number of cases of hepatitis C. And there's a relatively low number of people with HIV. But the gap between the two blood-borne diseases could be closing. It looks like we're in Nanaimo and in the Central Island. We have a window of opportunity to prevent some cases of HIV if we um, are able to move forward um, fairly uh, responsibly and intelligently around trying to prevent further transmission. VHA is warning there could be a spike in the number of people who contract HIV this summer. That's because drug users sharing needles and crack pipes also share diseases. VHA says the high percentage of drug users with hepatitis C is a strong indicator that the percentage of people with HIV will increase unless they are provided with clean needles and crack pipes. This has been seen, this pattern has been seen in other jurisdictions across Canada. And we know, for instance, um, that what can happen is that the relatively low prevalence of HIV can rise over time. VHA plans to offer clean crack pipes and syringes at a variety of places throughout Nanaimo, from the hospital to health clinics. Neither the health authority nor the city want this kind of service centralized in places like the downtown core. Uh, to have them scattered around the city and be able to go to a lot of different places, that'll make an impact for the neighborhoods and allow them to be absorbed more readily into neighborhood sort of ecosystems. So I think it'll be a positive that way as well. VHA will be making its final selection of sites to offer the needles and crack pipes this summer. Providing clean needles and other drug paraphernalia is just one component to the overall harm reduction strategy here. The city of Nanaimo is also developing a housing strategy and working alongside VHA and other health initiatives for drug users. Hudson? All right, Brent Shearer reporting in Nanaimo tonight. Brent, thank you. Thank you.